Hi Booktube, my name is Sean and welcome to my channel On The Stoop. And this video is actually going to be the inaugural video for this channel, so please bear with me while I'm finding my feet. Uh, prior to this I've been more of a kind of typical uh, Booktube lurker, sort of watching Booktube videos, seeing how the professionals do it, commenting, that kind of thing. But I ultimately decided that I wanted to give uh, video creation and uploading a go. See whether that gives me a slightly different perspective on the Booktube experience. Uh, but it is not something I would say that comes particularly natural to me, as I'm sure you can tell. And I don't have that kind of natural, easy conversational style that a lot of booktubers seem to have. Um, I'm sure I will get better. And I do know that the booktube community is very welcoming and supportive for new booktubers. And I've seen that myself on the booktube newbie tag videos. If you kind of comb through those comments on there, you will see the kind of level of encouragement and support that comes through and I'm sure this channel will share in some of that warmth if I'm lucky enough to get any subscribers or indeed any views on my videos. I think anyway, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that there is almost a time on a tradition of having a set of early embarrassing and cringeworthy videos right on your channel such that at a later date once you've achieved world domination and have hundreds of thousands of subscribers you can kind of point back to your early efforts as a as a kind of marker of how far you've come so i'm sure this video and subsequent ones will uh, perform that function very well for this channel that's enough of the initial preamble uh, today's video is actually a tbr uh, i chose a tbr because i thought that would be a way of kind of easing me into the video making experience because I've got a stack of books over here and as I understand it all I have to do is kind of hold them up one at a time and point at them so that seems like it's relatively easy to do and I think even I can manage that so uh, this is for the TBR for the Booktubeathon if you don't know what the Booktubeathon is it's a week-long readathon for the Booktube community and it is hosted by Ariel Bissett who's a Booktuber and it runs from the 24th, which is today, to the 30th of July. And I will link down below the initial launch video for the Booktubeathon, and I will also link the challenge video for the Booktubeathon. Now, there are seven reading challenges which you can choose to, to participate in or not. You can still uh, enjoy the Booktubeathon without doing any of these challenges, if you so wish. But uh, my TBR is constructed to meet these seven reading challenges. So without further ado, let's get into the pile of books. And the first challenge on Booktubeathon is to read a book with a person on the cover. And for this, I chose Moss and Hamid's The Reluctant Fundamentalist. This was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize, I think in 2007. As you can see, there are two people on the cover down here. And the reason I picked this up was that I read Moss and Hamid's Exit West, his latest novel, a couple of months back, and was very impressed by that. Uh, this one I've already read, as you can see, it's quite short, only 180 pages, and I've already read this today, and not quite as impressed by this as Exit West, but I still thought it was a, it was a good and interesting and thought-provoking read, and if I am not put off by the horrors of making this first video, I'm sure I'll get to my thoughts on this in some kind of wrap-up or review at a later stage. So that's the first one, uh, Rotten Fundamentalist. The next one is to read a hyped book, and for that... I chose uh, Stay With Me by Ayabami Adebayo and this was shortlisted for the Bailey's Prize and if you talk to some booktubers I think they will tell you that uh, it should have been this book that won and not Naomi Alderman's uh, The Power. This is a marital drama set against the backdrop of uh, political turmoil in 1980s uh, Nigeria and I've been told that or heard on other booktubers channels that there's quite a lot of twists and turns in this story, unexpected kind of twists and turns. So I'm really looking forward to getting to that one next. Um, so the next challenge was to read a book in a day. And for that, I have chosen some classic sci-fi. This is To Your Scattered Bodies Go by Philip Jose Farmer. Uh, this won the Nebula, uh, sorry, Hugo Prize in the early 1970s, I believe. And it is part of a series called the Riverworld series and uh, there, I think there were five books in that series, but I've never read any Philip Jose Farmer, so uh, I'm really looking forward to getting to this one and hopefully finishing it in a day. As you can see, it is quite slim. I think it's got about 180 pages, 190 pages, something like that. So shouldn't be too much of a challenge to get done in a day, that one. 
Uh, the next challenge was to read a book about somebody who is completely different from yourself, and for that I chose Hishin Matars uh, in the Country of Men. So this is a about a nine-year-old Libyan boy whose father is involved in the sort of resistance to Gaddafi and whose mother is, I believe, an alcoholic. And it's about his, his sort of coming-of-age story, I guess. Uh, this is an interesting, going to be an interesting read because I also read uh, earlier this year The Returned, which was Matar's autobiographical work. And that was about his family's return in 2011 to Libya after living in exile uh, from Gaddafi's regime to try and find out what happened to his father. So I think obviously this novel will have some major autobiographical strands. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that links in with what uh, Matar described as his family history in The Return. The next challenge was to uh, read a book entirely outside. So for that, I've chosen a graphic novel, and that is Monstrous by Marie Lu and art by Sana Takadar. Probably butchered that. As you can see, it's got some really nice uh, kind of artwork. Uh, but I chose this largely because it's short and graphic novels are quite easy to get through. And you never really know what the weather's going to do in the United Kingdom at this time of year. Uh, today we've had uh, overcast rain showers and now it's actually quite sunny outside. So hopefully this one could get done in a couple of hours, if that, um, outside at some stage later this week. Uh, the next challenge was to pick up a book, um, or read a book that you picked up, I should say, because of its cover. Now, I don't really pick up books solely because of the cover, but I did, um, when I was in Waterstones a couple of weeks back, um, the cover of this book actually attracted me and then when I read the blurb on the inside I picked it up on the basis of I thought the story was going to be quite interesting as well. So this is the, the Summer of Impossible Things by Rowan Coleman and this is a story about a woman who is in New York putting her mother's estate in order uh, following her mother's death when she finds herself transported back to 1977 and face to face with her, her mother of, of that time and I understand it's a story about whether she can, whether the woman can actually influence some of her mother's decisions in such a way that it, it prevents some tragedy in the future. So I thought that was quite interesting. I do quite like time travel stories uh, anyway, but I've not read anything else by Rowan Coleman. So I'd be interesting to know if anybody's read this in the comments or you've read anything else by Rowan Coleman. But that's the one I've picked up for the challenge of uh, read a book that you picked up because of the cover. And then that's six books. So the final challenge for Booktubeathon is to read seven um, books. And for my seventh book, I have a couple of rereads. Should I get to my seventh book? I mean, reading six books in a week is quite a challenge. But these are two rereads. So I've got two very short Kurt Vonnegut novels, the first one being Slaughterhouse Five, and the second one being Cat's Cradle. So if I manage to get through my six books, those would be one of those that I would pick up and. Uh, read next but I think six books in a week is is quite an ask. So that's it for my first video. Um, if you have any questions or thoughts on my TBR there or you've read any of those books please uh, include those in the comments and I will speak to you next time. Bye booktube!